James, we all know that currently all the interviews are done via Zoom. And some of the people are not used to, to the cameras or to the lighting or, you know, they're, they're afraid or they're not prepared or they don't know how to use this. So what tips do you have for job seekers in order to be better in their Zoom interviews? Yeah, so honestly, most of it is, is just interview. Like the one part of it's just it's the same interview prep you always do. You can't think of it as a different thing. You know, you still need to clean yourself up, dress well, you need to be prepared for all the questions you know you're going to get, all the common things that you know you're probably going to get asked. You know, understand what the company does, what your interviewer does, making sure you have good questions for them, you know, those types of things. When it comes to Zoom, um, the key things are is being mindful of the production quality and whatnot. So um, not to start adding more expenses on, because I know not everyone has tons of funds to spend on this stuff, but you need to make sure, like, think of it, first off is, is making sure you have a good connection. So uh, I, I'm actually shocked how many people don't know what Ethernet is. <laughs> it seems like nowadays everyone's so used to Wi-Fi, but if you have any at all way to wire your computer into the internet versus working on Wi-Fi, the amount of times that I hear about interviews that go bad because of a bad connection, you just can't afford to have that happen. So um, I've known a few people that know their, their routers on the other side of their house, but even getting a long ethernet cord that's 50 feet isn't very expensive. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to, if you want to make sure you're in a room that looks good and you want to make sure you have a good, you know, kind of internet connection, it's definitely worth doing that. Even if you just have to kind of, you know, run back and forth in between your interviews to, to take it down and whatnot. Um, past that, you know, lighting, lights, camera, everything else. Um, you know, if you can, if you have a ring light, great. If not, make sure you're in an area where, um, you know, you've got multiple lights kind of set up. So things, things look good. You're not overly dark, um, making sure, you know, your camera is high quality. Some laptops have really poor quality cameras. If that's the case, I mean, it's probably worth your money trying to get like a Logitech webcam or something like that. Um, sound is, is huge. Yeah. So, um, I use a, I mean, I always use a USB mic, but I do this kind of stuff all the time. Well, um, <laughs> you got one too. So like, yeah, the blue snowball is great. Um, but even, even worse than that, like getting a high quality headphones, like your standard iPods will be great mm -hmm. or anything that's kind of comparable with that, but making sure that people can actually hear you well, um, is kind of a key thing too. And then your, 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 your background, you know, like, um, if you have a virtual background, great. Um, I know it's, it's hard, like the room I'm in, if I turn my camera, you'd see, I don't really have a good place to set anything up. So mm -hmm. I like to tilt it. So at least I have some perspective on yeah. the one side. Yeah. Otherwise it'd be just, you'd be kind of looking at a flat wall, but um, yeah. those are just some of the things to be mindful of when you're, when you're setting things up. Um, and again, I don't think you have to, you don't have to spend a ton of money on it, on, on these types of things, but making sure and see how, how high quality your, your, uh, the lighting in your house is, as well as your laptop camera, and then kind of make a decision from there. And they can also practice on Zoom, you know, they, they can record themselves and then watch it and make it better, right? Yeah, it's just, you know, doing, doing interviews with your friends, doing mock interviews via Zoom, it's the same thing, you know, it's, it's the same way you'd prepare for any other type of interview. I like to think at this point in the process, everyone's more used to using Zoom than they were a year ago, right? So people are probably getting more comfortable. But um, I would say, uh, uh, I guess, in more generally speaking, um, if you're nervous about doing interviews and doing Zoom interviews, you know, use your peer network, find old friends and coworkers, people who um, you can go to for help, see if they can structure a mock interview for you. That way you can kind of do a, a, a once through, um, that way you can kind of reduce the nerves. Yeah, those are great tips, James. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of preparing for a Zoom interview, please leave a comment below and tune in next time for another great question with James.